way now. Um, although I should notice, note at the beginning that um, Mary will be joining us after she swears in two members of the fire department in Yarmouth. So I don't know what that means time-wise. So uh, welcome to the September 26th Harwich Planning Board meeting. My name is Duncan Berry. I'm the chair. Uh, this meeting is being held in person, um, and I need to request, according to Mass Law, that anyone who intends to record this meeting must first notify the chair, who will then inform the other attendees. Does anybody intend to record this? No? Very good. So I'd like to ask you to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, calling this meeting to order, um, we begin to this evening with case number PB 2023-20, which was continued from June 27th, July 11th, July 25th, August 22nd, and September 12th. Main Street Stonehorse LLC, through its agent, Attorney William Riley, is seeking a modification of a slight plan special permit, PB 2019-13, in order to reduce patios and walkways and increase parking. The application is pursuant to the Code of the Town of Harwich, Section 325-55, in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 9. The property is located at 878 Route 28, Sessor's Map 25, Parcel A2. The property is located in the Commercial High Density CH-1 Zoning District. Good evening, Mr. Riley. Uh, good evening. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Berry. The, um, so, working with my clients sometimes is like dental work. I'm always pulling teeth, but the, um, Remember, this is being broadcast. <laughs> the, <laughs> you know, sometimes the truth hurts, like a tooth pulled. Anyway, so the, um, <clears throat> we've made quite a bit of progress. Well, we've been to the site. Um, we finally got a revised planting plan, which we just distributed now, so I apologize for that. It was delivered to my office at 5 past 5 tonight. So um, the, uh, and, and just to run through it very, very briefly, um, over in, in, in the right-hand <coughs> corner, uh, just a couple of yellow spots, proposed Leylands. Uh, that was a result of a conversation with that neighbor, uh, Kent Drusilla, who represents those neighbors. Yep. Uh, and he has indicated he's satisfied with, with that change. Um, the <coughs> ramp uh, that the chairman had requested down from the right. patio to the dumpster has been completed. I don't know if you've been over there, but the, the handrails are up. Great. And uh, it looks, I think, looks very good. I was told that the uh, the walls around the dumpster enclosure were supposed to be installed today, and the dumpster moved back to that location. The hardwired lights are in. Uh, what the what the planting plan shows is foundation plantings, uh, front and rear. Uh, for both the north and south <coughs> buildings. Uh, we're also proposing between the two buildings a thornless honey locust tree, which I'm told will grow to be 25 or 30 feet high. In the front of the south building, we're proposing a Norwegian spruce. Uh, and the, the little green squiggles there between the Norwegian spruce and the driveway are, are going to be planted to prevent people from parking on the lawn. Uh, right now, we have some very uh, thin, uh, like, stakes to keep, the kind you use to keep a snowplow from going on your lawn. But we're going to uh, get that squared away. The, um, uh, and then we had our, uh, the punch list items. We talked about the staircase over um, 
leading from the patio to the east side of the parking lot. And I'd recommend it to the client that we simply remove the stairs rather than try to rebuild them. Because uh, the, the main avenue of uh, foot traffic into the parking area is really going to be down the ramp or, or down the existing stairs closer to the uh, the north building. Uh, so I, I'm going to need your recommendation on that. The, um, the lighting's done, the paving's done. So, uh, so one of the other questions that, that's remaining it has to do with sprinkling the office building. Right. Uh, it's been <coughs> uh, we're no longer using it as a dormitory. We only the only people living there are the on-site manager. Uh, so that I need a decision from you regarding that. I've had discussions with my client about uh, getting estimates to complete all the work. We can post a bond and perhaps get a final vote, mm -hmm. which would probably be. Make you guys at least as happy as it would make me. Yep. The uh, that's, I mean that's about it. I'm happy to keep talking, but I think that's <coughs> so. Do I have it tonight? Do, do I have it right that we're basically looking at staircase and sprinkler issues, and that's pretty much it? That's pretty much it. Okay. So Harry, I know that you we've been speaking about the um, staircase before. Did you want to? bring that ag again or? Uh, no, I, I realized that, you know, at one point in one meeting I asked to see the, the plan and I was shown a site plan, um, but in my experience on this board, every time there has been a, a motion, there is a, a narrative that goes along with it and I, I've never seen that narrative. So at, in 2019 when the, the, the application was was uh, placed for this modif or for the uh, original um, modifications to the property. Um, I'm sure there was a document that has uh, the narrative, and I've I've never seen that. Um, <coughs> so um, I did see when I when I asked to see it, there was a that there was a smaller eight and a half by eleven version of a sign, and I was told that that was it. But looking back at it, I. I have to believe there was a bunch of text that went along with that when it was approved, um, when the when the board voted on it. And I've, if that doesn't exist, then I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied that I've seen what there is. But it just seems weird that every time we have a motion <coughs> in front of the board, uh, Mary writes down a whole bunch of stuff with a lot of detail in it and. And unless that's a new practice since 2019, when this was originally this originally came in front of this board, then I have to believe that that document exists somewhere, and I've I've never seen it. Yeah, it's uh, case 2019-13, <coughs> and I'm sure we. Uh, it looks like yeah, Sheila's okay. looking for it right so now. It's part of the original um, application. Application. No, the May application on this. Okay. Yeah, we did provide another narrative, right? I think right. that um, Attorney Riley provided both. Right. And I had to mark on each which the one dates. was from another year, the other year, and which one I had to mark those because they seemed to look the same. Right. But I did hand those out in the beginning, um, and I can find some of them if you'd like to. I'm just, my, my point is that I don't know that I have enough information to be able to, because of the four year distance between when the first application or the, the, the application before, came before the board, and I, I, I've been pretty well aware of what has happened here in the past nine months or ever s when we started dealing with this. But what happened before that, I don't feel like I have enough information to be able to make a, uh, an informed decision as to where we are now. Um, so, uh, and, and that's, it, it may have come my way and I might have just overlooked it. Underneath your site plan, we work memo, no, or underneath that. Nope, it's a memo, it's a staff memo. There it is. 
this one? Like all the information? Yeah, I, 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 I scanned it. This was it. Just, just finish this. Very thorough. You did a great job. In that and some the original. Now it's so the I think <laughs> what we ought to do is, because I think that we're probably not going to resolve everything, right. we're probably going to do a continuance, I'm guessing. Yep, that's correct. All right, so <clears throat> why don't we distribute that original just so we can kind of triangulate, even if it's on Dropbox. For the next meeting. For the next meeting. Because that will solve some problems. That will also help us finalize and you know, see the drift, you know, as we triangulate between yeah. pre-COVID, COVID, and post-COVID kind of exigencies on what was going on in the site, the different building inspectors, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, we want to appreciate and understand where you're coming from with that. Well, so. just in the, the principal changes right. are the number of patios, right. the number of parking spaces, right. Uh, and really, candidly, that's about it. You know, the the uh, uh, you know we're in the process of rebuilding all the handicapped ramps, uh, right? Because the the railings. Oh, I guess somebody drove through one of them. Oh, jeez. So, I drove by today to take a look, and there's an area. It's the, uh, if you look on this plan, the north building on the right-hand side, there's a, there's a handicap ramp that goes down around. And because right. it, you know, there's a three-foot or four-foot drop to the bottom of the ramp, some guy apparently drove a car through it. So, uh, uh, You guys have cameras? <laughs> you have cameras? No, but... No, <laughs> yeah. But uh, apparently... Because the, 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 the maintenance guy I was talking to was surprised I hadn't heard about it. And, and uh, so I said, all they have is yellow tape up like a police. Line. I said, no, you got to put, you know, something so that people don't walk over that yeah. thing. So they were going to put up uh, saw horses and things to keep it up. The parts have been ordered to replace the ruined fence. Right. Uh, but, you know, but... But basically, you know, the principal aspect of this, of course, were the buildings and the planting plan. The planting plan has changed somewhat. Um, the uh, you know, sitting here today, I really couldn't tell you without the original planting plan in front of me, but not significantly. Um, so I hope that once everybody understands that, you know, the, the project really, although it's been difficult getting full compliance with all the aspects of the special permit, uh, the, the, the basically the, the, uh, the project hasn't changed dramatically. Right. So, uh, and I'll get, I'll have estimates before our next meeting to complete all the work and Hopefully we can close it out okay. at that point. And I'm just um, looking at Jack Mee's um, response. Is I haven't seen his response, so I don't know. So this is from the um, 21st, yep. his emails from the 21st. Part of this is also a requirement that we have a completed as built. Right. Correct? Right. Right. And I talked to, when the engineer dropped this off today, Yeah. he but told me that. Work in progress. Well, he told me that he expects to have the as-built uh, classic engineer. He said, I can't do an as-built until we're finished. So, so. <laughs> but that's but seems, that seems to be part of the hold-up here. That's too. right. That's what he needs that. The other thing is, like, um, I don't know what our, uh, you know, we'll come to terms with the stairs issue. The sprinklers, I, you know. Building. Right. If it's not, I mean, to me, that's a straightforward zoning issue if it's not being used as a dorm then well, we, we won't have any objection to that I don't believe I mean do we I know Craig you had a question um, I just wonder if it would be helpful uh, it'd be helpful for me if it, for anybody else uh, if we go through this punch list um, I'm not sure I think maybe attorney Riley put that together actually it was put together by because Terry Eldridge our engineer but yeah right Topic action to be taken. Right. Um, so if that makes sense. 
So I've got a couple questions. Yeah, why don't you go with the start off with the questions? All right. Um, the fix, fix the steps you indicated yep. uh, that we need further discussion on that at the board to see if that's acceptable to us. Yep. Um, uh, improve the railings. Uh, that's indicated that that's ongoing. Right. Correct. Uh, do you have any suggested estimated completion date? All I know is the uh, the things to do the work have been ordered. So, um, is that going to be done by a, a separate contractor or by the maintenance people? Right. I think it's going to be done by the maintenance people that, that work for uh, Mr. Rudnick. I would find it helpful if we could set a date on there, much as you've done yeah, okay. uh, for the others. Um, finish the handicap rat. Handicap, <coughs> handicap ramp um, no later than the end, end of next week. I was down there this afternoon, um, and it looks like the, the ramp to the dumpster is completed. And right. the dumps to the old enclosure that had been taken down, the pave is now uh, in there. Oh, they put it back up? Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was there about 5 o'clock. Um, the dumpster is still on the other side of the parking lot, but I think that's just. I, I was told they had to put the walls up before they could move the dumpster over. Yeah. Um, the landscape plan, um, we've talked about that. It, yep. It's going to be arrived in your week of 918, but obviously, as you said, we just, you got it. We have it in, nice in the. Uh, um, the planting, um, again, goes with the landscape architecture. The lighting, um, the walkway lights, um, the electric versus the solar have all been installed. I thought that looked great. It did, down yeah. There. A lot more, uh, a lot brighter. They look sharp. So yeah, no, they do. That's great. Glad to see that uh, completed. Uh, the pavement, uh, as you indicated, that looks like it's all done. I don't know about the manhole cover. Yeah, that's been, that's been completed as well. Okay. Uh, the screening and the fencing plan, you explained about the two uh, Leland Cypress trees, um, but then there's also the stockade <coughs> fence, uh, and it says the stockade fencing has been installed. Was I, When I was down there, I didn't see any new stockade fencing at all, um, and I didn't even see where it might go. I'm looking on the landscape. There's an well, existing stockade fence. No, I know. In the... I think the the uh, if you look at that as that property line continues from where it says existing stockade fence right. uh, on the angle there, I think it's supposed to go from uh, that property line, the dash property line that comes in uh, down to the road. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And so that there's nothing there. Right. Even though it says it's already been installed. Well, it, yeah, the, uh, I'd assume that they would be installing that this week, but. I didn't see anything, I didn't see any that indicated it was digging post holes or, or anything at all. No, no, I understand that, and the, the uh, you know, well, that's why I, I say I want to get estimates to complete all the work. Right, if, if we could also put a date, expected date of completion on that would be helpful. Uh, the sprinkler plan we talked about, um, as long as it's not used as a dormitory and continues that way, uh, I think we're, we're fine. Um, and the as-built plan we talked about, we have to wait on that. Um, With one, may I make one um, sure. observation there? <coughs> the idea of this being aerial photography. I know, I, I talked with, yeah. yeah. We already had, a, we did, a, I did have that response from Jack Me. Okay, good. And I, I passed know that, that they're along to Terry Eldridge and he said, you know, we won't use, you know, it won't be aerial photography. Right. Okay, good. Um, and then the maintenance schedule. Uh, I don't, I don't think we received a maintenance schedule or well, performance I, I, have to, I have to tell you, you know. I'm sorry? Honestly, I honestly don't know what you mean when you say maintenance schedule. Well, we talked about... Like walk the property, you know, are there any damage to X, any damage to Y? Do, are the plantings failing? But just like monitoring the, the uh, 
kind of a checklist. If people aren't intuitively managing it uh, as a manager is trained to do, then they need to be, you know, okay, given a kind of a flow chart of or yeah. an org chart. All right, well, that's what to do and who to uh, go to. And well, th that description is very helpful. I'll be able to <laughs> create something based on that description. That, that, well, you uh, know what I mean? I mean, it's like it, it's like I got on a clipboard it's by the door. It's like, oh, today means we haven't checked, we haven't had our uh, septic inspection, and so that's three months from tomorrow or whatever, you know? Okay. So, I mean, and, and I'm assuming that that's not like over and above the call of duty for the person I don't located think, there I think that's unless that's unless there's something that would be duplicated by a larger well, you know multi-property manager who's then could delegate these things he's got uh, there are two gentlemen who do maintenance work right and the the uh, and so it's a question for me to have him designate one and then I'll, I'll create the schedule for him, right. talking with him, right. how you want to do this, and then we'll be able to create it and have it before the next meeting. Okay, great. And I think, um, you know, to piggyback on what Duncan said, uh, as far as the maintenance schedule, like I think we check the septic in three months or something like that. So those, those kind of major milestones that have to be done on the annual or quarterly or something basis, um, but almost, I don't want to simplify it, but um, one of, I would think one of the responsibilities of a manager of the property, I walk the property once a day, and I know right. the railing is broken, I need to get that repaired. The, you know, somebody's parking on the grass, I need to get their light, uh, assuming the manager has license plates for the people that are authorized to park there. So the type of things I don't feel that I should be or we should be spelling out every single thing that the, ma the manager and maintenance are expected to do. I would trust that the owner is going to do that or will do that. But I think because of where we've been the four years we've come and the back and forth and things change so much, different stories, it would be helpful, I think, for everybody, for yeah, no, Mr. I agree. Rudnick and the maintenance people and the manager of the property to know what's our expectations on an ongoing right. basis and theirs. So. Yeah, no, that's a good suggestion. Thank you. So, um, and the final um, thing that I just wanted to bring up to was the uh, item here. Of course, I just clipped it away right when I was supposed to be looking at it. So the um, temporary certificate of occupancy, I, I'm taking that you saw that the, um, it expired on the 15th of this month, right? That's correct. So I just want to make sure that you're, we're all in communication here and you're tracking with Jack and we're going to get you to the, to the goal line here. Well, I, yeah, I, it had been my understanding that if we got, one of the issues that was a major concern of his was the people living on the second floor of the office building. Right. I'd had the understanding, apparently incorrectly, that if we got those people out of there by the 15th, that's where that date came from, Right. Uh, that my memory is the expression was that he would work with us while we got the as-built plan and your final vote. Right. So. I mean, we're like a meeting away now. I right. just want to make sure that he's not going to like um, close it off uh, before we can finish our job here because it would be a hell of a thing for us to go this far with all these meetings and it all be irrelevant. I'm just saying just for a little bit of self-interest here. No, no, no. I, I, I'm completely in line with your thinking. So. Okay. All right. Well, I suggest then that uh, we entertain a motion to continue until our next meeting, which is the 10th of October, right. no earlier than 6.30 p.m. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I have one abstention. One abstention. Very good. It's Thank nice you, Bill. A, it's nice that we had a short meeting. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Unless you'd like to go back to the end of the... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> My meeting last time was longer than yours, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was still there, and you guys were finished. Oh, that's well, thank you Yikes, you're kidding. No. Wow. Yes. Mary, she knows how to run a meeting. Yeah.
It was about four hours. How'd that go? Meeting. I, I was at a selections meeting and it was it was supposed to be swearing in firefighters. <laughs> it was the conversation about the potential migrants moving in and it was setting the Yarmouth's tax rate that I needed to be there for. They didn't and see that first. <laughs> nope. Oh. Mm, nope. They postponed the firefighters, which was tonight. Tonight, yeah. Oh, but it was over two hours of public discussion on the first. Okay. Are the migrants moving to the Stone Horse by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I would have no so idea. Let's go to case now um, for our uh, public meeting, um, case number PB 2023-07. Round Cove Resort Owner LLC and Four Cove Landing Road Owner LLC are seeking site plan review pursuant to the Harwich Zoning Bylaws section 325-51 and 325-55. The proposed building expansion is to create an additional hotel rooms and to renovate buildings at Weequasset Resort and Golf Club. Property is located 2173 Route 28, Head of the Bay Resort, Map 115, Parcel S1-3, in the residential high density RH2 and commercial highway CH2 zoning districts. And um, this is to clarify and uh, the um, motion that votes were taken on the last time and um, as per Attorney Rose's comments that we wanted to guarantee a supermajority, we reviewed the alternative submission and the presence of Alan and Mary at those, although Mary will not be because she didn't attend the last one, though it's only going to be the board who will be voting on that motion. So shall we read that in, Does, was that was the proposed motion? No, the, one on, the one with the larger print is from the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. Okay, right. And this is the proposed motion 2023-07. Right? Yes. Yes. yes, the larger one came from the right. so that's from the So uh, if you would like, do you have any comments or would you like me to read the proposed motion and take the vote? I have no comments. And if we could have a roll call vote, that would be great. Okay, let's do the roll call vote. Okay. Thank you. Um, so here's a proposed motion um, which uh, clarifies and crisps up kind of the uh, rambling uh, discursive structure of our ad hoc efforts without Mary last time. So this will be a little tidier effort. Um, we definitely missed you and uh, so and we'll have more on that. Um, for yes. Me, Mr. Chair, for the record, I just want Mary to know we tried our best. Yeah, we did. We, did. we didn't I'm succeed, sure but did. we tried. Yeah. No, I'm sure you yeah. did su succeed. Um, Were there any comments on what you see in this language before I, have no I read it? I comments about anything. Okay, all right. Um, and you're we're in a just in a public meeting, correct? Not correct. a public hearing. Correct. Um, do you want me to at least read this so that, and then somebody can can make the motion after I read it? Perfect. Let's so do that. Save somebody. Yeah. And Duncan, who can vote? Um, everybody except for Mary. Except for Mary. And it's because it was an amended application, correct? Essentially. Yes, and also um, because you were not at the last yep. meeting. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can read it, but you. I can. I'm you just going to read it, the and then motion. somebody will make them. Yeah. Somebody can just say something. Okay. Got it. Uh, so uh, yeah. In the matter of PB case oh, number twenty twenty three dash zero seven with applicant Round Cove Resort owner LLC, aka Weequasset Resort and Golf Club, and its application for a site plan review special permit. For the property listed location listed at 2173 Route 28 and Four Cove Landing, Head of the Bay, Harwich 02645, Assessors Map 115, Lot S1-3, Map 115, Lot R-2, as merged by 81X plan recorded in Barnstable Registry of Deeds, as Plan Book 700, pages 96 and 97, in the RH-2 Harwich Zoning District, <coughs> as authorized under sections 325-51 and 325-55 of the Howard Zoning Bylaw, I move that based on the testimony provided at public hearings, plans, and other submissions provided as part of the applicant's application and supplemental thereof, which are adopted as findings hereto, that the Howard Planning Board vote in favor of one, the granting of an exemption under section 5.D.6 of the Stormwater Permit Bylaw, 
based on the Conservation Commission review and a finding that the proposed area to be disrupted is less than one acre, as shown in submitted plans. Two, the granting of a site plan review special permit based on findings that the plans submitted are complete and well designed and that the plans meet the requirements of the Harvard Zoning Bylaw and the Planning Board rules and regulations governing subdivision of the land and site plan review and with such grant conditioned on the following. A, the applicant shall install screening of over 20 mature evergreen trees of sizes varying from eight to 10 feet to 14 to 16 feet planted at a grade higher than the adjacent two co-landing dwellings in accordance with the plan submitted by applicant. The applicant shall properly maintain all such trees and shall in a timely manner replace any trees that die or otherwise become unsightly with trees of similar size and type. And B, only four rear facing exterior lights shall be placed on the rear second floor decks of buildings identified as A and B on plan submitted by the applicant and they shall all be dark sky compliant and linked to motion sensors to limit their use during evening and nighttime hours. In addition, each night the window treatments for each occupied rear facing room in buildings A and B shall be closed and blackout drapes shall be drawn over all rear facing doors and windows. Lights shall be turned off in any rear facing unoccupied room. Do I have a motion? So moved. A second? Second. Uh, Mr. Munn. Yes. Aye. Aye. Mr. Peterson. Aye. Mr. Chadwick. Aye. Ms. Broody. Aye. Ms. Tucker. Aye. Barry, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank, thank you, you for your much. patience. Thanks, everyone, for your time. Appreciate oh, thank it. you. I'll see you shortly on the YMCA. Just <laughs> <laughs> mark me as an abstention. Yeah. So. This brings us then to case PB 2023-06, which is continued from August 22nd. Eastward Companies has submitted a request for partial release the Planning Board Covenant for Dorset Drive, lots one and two with lot three to remain in covenant. The applicant has requested a continuance until the four, uh, 24th of October. So may I have a motion to make this continuance? Make a motion to Continue case PB 2023-06, Easter Companies uh, to meeting on October 24th, 2023, no earlier than 6.30 p.m. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Ellen with motion. And Craig, second. Okay. It's, if, a, if it's a partial release of covenant, has, um, have we asked the engineer to let us know if the remaining is sufficient to cover the Yeah, We had that upstairs. a while back, and they asked for this longer <coughs> extension because they're coming in on the 24th okay. with a modification request for the uh, uh, one of the drainage. Huh. Okay. So it'll all come together for that. Yeah. I will re- um, upload the DAC report. Okay. And um, just by talking to Lee Wood. Great. Terrific. Thank you, Sheila. That brings us to new business for this evening. Um, I presume we have all had a moment to read the minutes. Extensive and flawless, it seems like. Thank you very much. Including all the information from the meeting. Does anybody have any amendations or corrections or I'm observations? We approve the minutes from September 12, 2023. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You don't so have to be here to approve them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and well noted. Um, now, there's one final item um, that I wanted to talk about. I had a conversation with Shayla about um, uh, staff reports and findings and um, training. Um, if this is going to be more than kind of an interim situation. And um, I wanted to make sure that we support Shell and whatever she needs to do for training. I would like to know if it would be um, worth your while to deliver the kind of staff reports that then can be used to springboard into the um, findings that you, you've been using in the past or that you're most comfortable with, we'd like to set that up if that's what you'd like. So I think we've typically always had those findings set out. We've had 
findings both been set out. We've had waiver motions set out, um, and we've had um, proposed and detailed conditions set out. And you know, I, I think when when those aren't in a staff report, we miss things. Like I, I know at one point, I probably missed a statement that said any changes need to any changes to the special permit needs to come back to the planning board. Right. So we want to make sure that we cover ourselves on all of those things. Um, how do you feel best about having that being done at this point? So I, th I think the best way to do it is is for um, Shayla to work with town council on, on preparing those findings. And, and I, okay. I'm sure they're available for us to do. Okay. Is that so satisfactory I, to you? I sent down a number of requests um, for assistance with that, and I haven't heard anything about that. But wh what I was going to ask is we had Charlene and John – and did you like either of the formatting better from one or the other? Because I can go back and pull and see a format and... So I think it's... I, I mean, this isn't about it, the person. It's, just it, it's not right. about the person and it's really not about the, the choices. I mean, the John's were more detailed and, and I think that's what you should have. Okay. I liked the way John did his, um, but I also think you know, there's, I am sure town council will be ready and willing and able to help you with those because that's what they're, that's what they're there for. That's what they're supposed to do. I will ask you know. again. Uh, happy to support you in anything you need in that regard, Shayla. I appreciate your efforts in this. This is me stretch out for however many months. That's right. We don't know. But, it, but that's what, you know, it's one thing to do, you know, it's one thing to give them a draft and ask them to review it, you know. I've, I have heard that, that they're available to us, yeah, so. That's a better way to do it maybe than just ask for drafts that goes together. Planning Put a board. draft and just, you know, it's a, it's a special permit, it's a site plan review special permit, and this is what, this is what I think, is there something that's missing? And let them review it. So something like the, the staff memo. Do a, do, do a draft, right, do a, and do a draft, okay. and okay. then have them review it. Template. Right. Yeah. Right. And then they can, then they can, because everything's different, right? Every right. facts and circumstances for everything are different. And it's making sure that our motions and our conditions are free of conflict. Right. So we have two new cases for the 10th. And uh, we have two new cases for the 24th. And then we should be an lot better than seven. Well, right. You know, yeah. We're dealing with as many concurrent. Do we have a meeting on November 7th? Yeah. The date that we wrote down is in for me. Well, I mean, we have one meeting from the end. So um, while Sheila is out, I, I wanted to also mention that I received a TM from Julie Cavanaugh, one of the members of the select board who is our liaison now um, and wanted to connect um, just discuss our charge and I think she was thinking we're you know we're not a we're not a committee we don't have a charge we've got regulatory <laughs> oversight right. kind of thing so and she goes oh I know I know well we got to but she wants to like have some feedback so um, next I think it's next Thursday anybody who wishes to join we're gonna have uh, Cape Roots at 11 the 5th of October we need to post it as a public public meeting if you're going to have a quorum. Then. Okay, all right. I'm just. Otherwise, uh, it can just be you and yeah, Julie. It was just going to be me and Julie, and I was just going to open the conversation. I suggested if she wants anything more, then she'll appear before us, okay. and we'll have a kind of a forum in a pu public meeting with the agenda. But I just wanted to let you know if you want something for me to say to her to address to her, you know, feedback loop. Just, just let me know, and I'll take care of that. So. Well, no, we don't have a 7th. We have the 14th and the 28th. Perfect. Uh, Thanksgiving is early this year, so it'll be the Tuesday after Thanksgiving is the 28th. Perfect. We have only one meeting in December, which is the 12th, and I'm putting together, <coughs> it's pretty much done, the um, schedule for next year, so I'll have those at the next meeting so we can all. Terrific. Um, just a point of clarification. Yep. You're meeting with Julie. Um, were you saying that we could attend as, as well if we want? No, I'm just saying if you, you want, if you want input, her. yeah, if you want me to give her okay. input, if you're saying, because I think this has become kind of um, 
this, the discussion with regard to the golf committee has become yeah, kind yeah. of polarized, and I think they're trying to get out ahead of it. Yeah. If there are any issues that you see here, let, let me know that I'm, you know, if we haven't discussed it here, you know, um, so uh, not that I expect anything, I'm just offering that as a, as a, uh, to be a channel, so, for the conversation. Yeah. We need a town planner. Yeah, well, <laughs> right, yeah, we've, we're definitely talking about that. We also talked about I don't the, control off the record. Right. The long-term oh, plan, people are not connected to us, and right. about that. Right, excellent point, yeah. Yeah, because we were going to have a routine feedback loop, and that never really has materialized. So we're, and then there's a group that's kind of organizing to change bylaws and stuff as well from the, that came here to one of our meetings, so it's. Oh, right. Uh, they got all yeah. Things well, that's, that that's kind of, I think we need to just, you know. Yeah. We're, we're aware of it, but I think that's a work in progress, and I don't know what's going to happen with that. We Seem play a role in that whole process, right. so. Agreed. Yeah. Right. So. Um, I did send out an email about open meeting law training. That's oh, that's the other thing. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you yeah. Uh, open meeting law. There are two two-hour um, meetings next week or next week. this week, and okay. if you're not up to speed on them, right? Yeah, Thursday. They're in uh, person, right? Right, and I think there are at the community yeah. center. Yeah, like two to four and six to eight, five to seven. Right. Okay. I have a question about that. Yeah. Open meeting training. Do we, if there is a quorum, do we have to know? Because we're not deliberating anything. Right. We, don't have anything. we don't have anything in front of you. Excellent. Thank you. Any other new business or old business before the board? Anybody want to say hallelujah? <laughs> it's <laughs> 42 minutes and 11 seconds or don't whatever it is. Knock on wood and don't you dig yeah. for the next Make meeting. Make a motion right. to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Gloria in excelsis Deo. <laughs>